Hi guys, trouble looms as um, the Attorney General of the Federation, Malami, asks Buhari to suspend Nigerian constitution and declare martial law. President Muhammad Buhari is in the process of declaring a state of emergency across the Federal Republic of Nigeria. People's Gazettes can report based on a secret memo and official account as the administration scrambles to shake its way out of acute insecurity and the hindrance of constitutional provisions. The Attorney General of Federation, Abubakar Malami, has already written a lengthy legal advice to the Nigerian president, urging him to move swiftly to suspend the fundamental rights of all Nigerians as guaranteed under Chapter 4 of the Constitution. In the eight-page secret memo dated May 4th, 2021, Mr. Malami told Mr. Buhari that insecurity across Nigeria has reached a level that could no longer be checked by existing democratic techniques, saying only a state of emergency can uh, stop this by the president if he can help to return the, the country to tranquility. The essence of declaration is to allow the suspension of constitutional and legal bureaucratic bottlenecks pertaining to matters of national security with particular regards to fundamental rights guaranteed under Chapter 4 of the 1999 Constitution and processes and procedures relating to procurement, among others, the Attorney General said. Mr. Malami said the president should issue instruments of emergency and publish them in the Federal Gazette. Senate President Ahmed Lawa and the Speaker Femi Banjabia Mila will be informed about the decision ahead of implementation, he added. To Joe's uh, probable legal tension, it's also important for the proclamation instrument of the statement of emergency to expressly provide for the suspicion of Chapter 4 of the 1999 Constitution and its attendant enforcement rules. Mr. Malami wrote the suspension of rights pertaining to the matters of national security we then give legal backing for the proclamation of the statement of emergency to be operational and effective without any uh, disturbance or judiciary uh, dis, uh, distractions. In the early pages of the document, Mr. Malami cited whispered art of insecurity and blamed prominent uh, separatist agitators like Sondi Bo and Nnam Kano for fueling the pro Tracted crisis that has enveloped the country and aggravated the social and economic conditions of Nigerians. The memo was endorsed to the president by National Security Advisor Baba Ghana Mugono and administration officials are divided on how to proceed with the advice. Clearly, different factions of our government have different positions on this alarming proposal, a presidency official told the Gazette. But everyone agrees that AGF holds powerful sway over the president, and it would be a miracle if the constitution is not suspended as he recommended. Another official, also within the presidency, who confirmed hearing about the memo but had not seen it before they were reached by the Gazette, said Mr. Buari might have little resistance considering the potency of Malami's argument. The president is just saying they should act in the best interest of the country, the official said. Even as the president him seemed to have given up in his own ability to get the AGF to back down. 
multiple constitutional scholars and practitioners who analyzed the memo for the Gazette said it was essentially a suspension of the Nigerian constitution and declaration of martial law since chapter 4 dealt with fundamental human rights, absence of which there cannot be a democratic system. The analysts acknowledge the powers of the president to issue a state of emergency under Section 305 of the Constitution, but said the powers are not absolute and do not include outright suspension of Chapter 4. Why Section 305 said the president can declare a national emergency to curb criminalities, it did not expressly permit suspension of Chapter a four, which analyzed, described as the most important session of the Constitution. The right to life and other crucial rights of modern society will be suspended under Malami's proposal. The Attorney General approved to lay the groundwork for the controversial plan when he decried the Tuesday that Mr. Buhari's respect for human rights was largely responsible for the administration seeing incompetence at uh, tackling whispered carnage and lawlessness. Mr. Malami and presidential spokesman Gaba Shew did not return the Gazette request for comments for comments about the proposal. Mr. Buhari has been conflicted over whispered cares that threatens to define his eight years leadership as a democratically elected leader. His administration is the fourth since Nigeria returned to democracy in 1999, following years of military dictatorship. Sorry, dictatorship. Where is he thought his uh, military bona uh, fides as a plus for his fitness for a nation beset by insecurity? The country has been have seen no changes in insecurity challenges under Mr. Buhari since 2015. Thousands of Nigerians have been killed by armed bandits, killer hessmen, kidnappers, and even security agents. Millions of citizens are already wracked by economic hardships, which analyze blame on the administrations and the ruthless uh, politics. So, guys, I'm going to drop it here for now. Let's hear from you. Hit the the comment section and don't forget to give us thumbs up thank you very much for always stopping by i really do appreciate bye for now